Hello and welcome back to what is probably the best titled episode of Friday Minis so far. That's right, for this episode of Friday Minis, we're going to be talking about minification. So what is minification? Now, minification is a technique used most often in web programming. And basically the idea is your web developer actually writes, you know, some code. This code is never compiled. This code is just sent straight to your browser and your browser actually interprets it as it is to actually generate the web page and to power its interactivity. Now, here's the deal. Why we actually write code? Well, we like to space things out. We like to, you know, use tabs and have everything look really neat. This helps us in being more organized. This helps us in writing code that is more readable. So, you know, later on, if we want to actually expand on it, we'll have less trouble. But here's the problem. All these spaces and new lines and comments will actually be sent to you at the end of the day, despite the fact that they don't actually contribute anything to the actual performance of the script itself. All these are things that are ignored, they're never run, and yet they are something that you need to receive before you know your web page can actually begin to load. That is where minification comes in. Minification actually, well, runs through the code and takes out all this redundant stuff. What you end up with is a smaller file, something that can be transmitted to you quicker, and what that means of course is better performance on your end as the user. And what that means is that minification is a simple way of compressing a script. Of course, while the definition of minification stops there, you can actually take this a step further. Notice that we sometimes like to use, you know, pretty complex variable names so that, well, it makes the code readable, well, we can actually shorten on that as well. If we were to actually, you know, change these variable names to shorter terms and then minify it, what we end up with is once again a script that performs exactly the same, but it's a smaller script. As an added bonus, you can also obfuscate the intent of the script itself. If you're writing some code that you don't actually want people to read and understand, well, do something like that. And what happens is that even if you know someone actually views the source code, they wouldn't get a lot of useful information out of it. That doesn't mean they can't try, but thanks to the fact that you've obfuscated your code, it makes it quite a bit harder for them. So there you go, that was minification with a little bit of obfuscation thrown in. It's actually a technique quite widely used in web development these days. So yeah, if you actually open up you know, the source code of any web page, and you see everything just mashed together, well, you now know what that is and why it's done. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.